here, we back for third season for one reason to show the rap game that we mean. We and when it comes to the best, we got the best in the stage when the band hit the scene. You gotta see. You won't believe how we affect so many family trees. People rushing us in the street for a finale, they scream. We've been all around the globe, but some crying with me, so just watch MTV. You about to witness with every group in the gang go through. All in good times, grinding, trying to pay y'all dues. To be one of the best that ever done it, so tune in tight, cause it's about to go down. MTV. Here we are. We've come to the end of our journey, the finale. The last year and like eight months, we've been following six young, talented men and women who have had the dream to become hip-hop superstars. Y'all been right there with me as I've coached them through the peaks and valleys of the music business. The time has now come for me to make a decision. What's going to be the future of the band? We about to release another album. We only got a couple more drinks we gotta do. Yes, sir. For one out. Oh, shit. My man, <laughs> you're professional. Uh -oh. It's like I'm in the club with this dude, and I'm even. Everybody's collabed a little bit more when it comes to the songs and everything like that. This is basically like your track. Because we need to save a stoke spell. You know what I'm saying? Because you're jumping on everybody else. You need somebody to jump on your. You know what I'm saying? So, what you come up with, then we work around that. This second album is definitely gonna be hotter than the first. I know for a fact that I stepped my game up a lot. They recorded like 15 songs. Out of the 15, there's probably four songs that can make the cut. I'm missing that hunger, that creativity, that energy that they had with the first album. So, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about the second album. Dylan like, pops up at the studio. Was really trying to squeeze him in on songs that's already been created without him. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Hey, yo, record that, please, before the song starts. So nine times the tape's gonna get taken off the song because it really don't match the vibe of how the song was going in the first place. I'm an artist. Art. That's what I do. Come on, Dylan. Come on, man. You got a real artist goes in the booth and do his thing. Yeah, so I'm not a real artist if I don't. Show me. I knew he was gonna say something. I'm not a real artist. He gotta make himself fit. I told him that earlier. He can't do anything or anything. You know what I'm saying? He can't. He, he gotta. He gotta fit. Creativity is my only beef when it comes to this situation. I make good music, obviously, because I was picked, and I want to make the music that I was picked for. Dylan wants to be just Dylan. He doesn't want to change. I don't think. I don't think he wants to change. It's easy to be a solo artist. One of the hardest things in the world is to be part of a band. As a group of people that have to work together, I don't think that they have it. What are y'all gonna do, man? What are y'all gonna do to make the situation feel comfortable so we know that we're going ahead before we put some more money into the situation? The whole point of this meeting is to see what are we gonna do to make Puff believe that we're gonna blow up. And the person that decides that they wanna speak for the band is Dylon. The feeling is, I think everybody, everybody one day definitely wants to go solo, wants to do their own thing. As of right now, we can't do it. I'm saying right now we can't do it, so we're down to sacrifice and do what it takes. As soon as he opens his mouth, I said, ah, oh, it's going down. I ain't asked y'all what y'all want. I don't give a f what you want about. No, I ain't asked you about that. I ain't asked you about that, man. You don't even have no legs to stand on with that. It hurts me, you know, because it made me feel like we came all the way here together just for you to say you're going to do a solo project. Today in that meeting, I didn't even know y'all was wilding like this. 
And this is this is for all y'all. I'm telling y'all from the heart right now. People in this room is leaving this group. Like y'all gotta understand this, and y'all really gotta gotta comprehend this. Y'all are young. If you get kicked out, you gone. Like like it's over. Your music, you might as well like like do something else. Music is out of your life. So if you think you running down to New Orleans and you going to hop on some label down there, you going down to Miami, nobody's going to go against Puff for y'all. Ness, you from Philly. You going to be that hot dude that's just down the block from New York that can't get a deal. You not doing no more reggae. You might do some, some small hole-in-the-wall clubs, but in terms of you getting a deal, you done. The people who are in control of my music right now don't even respect my vision. I don't respect anything what I'm saying. So I feel like, damn, this was my dream come true, and nobody's hearing the real me. Mary J. Blige, my homegirl, as y'all know, and a living legend. Mary started in a project just like these cats started out, with a dream to be somebody. Yo, Sarah, the difference is with Mary, she worked so hard every day. Chopper. Even up to now, every day she gives it her all. Hey, Ness! And I thought she would be a good person talk to the band about being focused on, on your craft. Mary J. Blige, y'all. The diva herself. Like, oh man, Mary J. I'm a dude, I'll be like, I'm not gonna cry. I can't, I'm like, yo, that's MJB. That's Mary J. Blige. What's the 411? Mary is seven albums deep. She's one every type of award there is to win. She's the queen of our music, but it was no easy step. So here it is, like, don't miss this opportunity to talk to Mary about it. I just want to ask you, we just got our feet wet. You've been going through it, you done went over that hill, looked past it, went over another hill, looked past that hill. So we don't really know what to expect. We just like, we just live in it. We just learn about experience. I want to tell you something. People are looking at y'all. You know what I'm saying? People are like, yo, they are high. So, so embrace that. Singers are watching you. Chicks, female rappers are already mimicking you. It's weird for me because you never get tired of the love. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I love all my fans. But then you got the haters. You don't know. You want to run up and beat their ass. And you like, I can't because I, I, I don't want no lawsuits. So it's like a mental thing with me, like struggling. Like You sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> About five years ago, I was still right there. But you know what? It's a blessing. Yeah, you want to tell your hood story. But when you go to these things, you ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. You got what everybody else is trying to do. So you could definitely spark something new right now. I saw you on TV one time. I was standing up out of my seat, just going crazy because I just felt your spirit. I just want to know, how did you get to that point where you was just singing like crazy like that? Do you write? Yes, I do. Yeah. Write truthfully from the heart. Start being true to yourself. Write your own songs. Don't bring the hair and the makeup to the stage. Bring that struggle to the stage. Take that joint to the stage, they will be standing up like they were at an opera. <laughs> Mary J. Blige, she told us a lot of good things, and I took a lot of things into consideration. If y'all a group, don't hate on one another. Don't go behind each other's back talking about one another. Just stay together and drop your pride, because that's the only way you're going to learn from each other. Because it's all, if it's always, I know, eh, 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 Y'all gonna end up hating each other and splitting up. You don't want that. I mean, you're all hot enough to go solo, but right now you are in this as a group. You are all hot in this together. You ever seen a, a married couple that's really not getting along? And they're on TV like, oh, they think it's just great. And you're like, yes, yeah, it's, it's phony. So love one another with some kind of unconditional love. What Mary's saying is important because whether you have a head or not, if you got loyal fans because you're projecting this image that she's talking about, they're gonna be there for you. We about to wrap it up. Anybody got some final anything you want to say? Yeah, I, I got my camera. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> she told me, she's like, yeah, Baz, I like your work. That coming from her is bigger than it coming from Puff to me. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you. Hey, so we a five-member group now? Oh, the situation with Dylan, man. 
Where's Where's homeboy? Yeah. No one knows. You, nobody knows? Nobody knows. Missing out on talking to Mary. I mean, he's missing out on a lot of good stuff. He hasn't talked to anyone else, me. I don't understand why he just won't call us. I don't know what's wrong with him, if he even wants to be in this group. So he hasn't been to the house? Not since Tuesday. Not since Monday night. It's supposed to be what? Our last night here. Oh. This is the final night that we're going to be in the house. I'm going to be sad, though, man. You got to have a party, man. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> I don't know. You scared to have a party in here? Because this is his house. This is a different story. You know what I'm saying? This is his stuff. Last time, last stuff wasn't... But we live here. He said it's our house. I don't know, though. He said we can have company. We do what we want. It's our house. I'm like, I don't know if he's going to let me have it. I don't know if he's going to come down and kick us out. I don't want to tell him. And then he'd be like, hell no. We got all them liquor glasses ain't been you. I know. You know what? Yeah, why not? But you got to kick us out? <laughs> <laughs> you leave it. I'm just like, I'm just going to throw the party. And whatever happens, happens. Ready to party. What? I'm going to party. <laughs> I said, do she have the cakes with the strawberries Come inside on. instead of the filling? Yeah. Making the band, it's a wrap. It's kind of sad, because yeah. for two years, I've been doing the whole making a band series. Yeah. It's kind of like a part of my life now. I need armor shoes. I was about to just say that, yeah. Soda, water. Like, where's the 99 cent store you're at? You're in the wrong, you're in the wrong. What the f we need to go up to 130. For real, we need to go to Harlem. I have a good rose champagne. That's good. How much is that? $69. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> You know, she's extra emotional like that. Make it a I invite a whole bunch of people from Brooklyn, Bad Boy staff. Next generation, you better stay focused. Youngest before they time and you already Puff. Do I did not invite Puff? There's a party in my house. I wasn't even invited to a party in my own house. Uh, hey. I'm like, oh, they he about to kick everybody out. Hey, Y'all didn't invite me to the party. You know. Be sad situation. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the cannons. We just were trying to uh, enjoy the moment, man, because it's a wrap. It's the finale. Mm -hmm. It was like kind of like a tear jerker because it just felt good. And we on our way to the top. Where's Dylan at? What happened? What's his reason for the last three days? He got mad at something that happened at the studio. Like, nobody really knows what it was. Oh, come here, let me ask you something. At this moment, I'm thinking he gonna be like, yo, I want everybody on my crib. But when he put me to the side, he's like, yo, where's Dylan? Last time she came down. Why are you here? The day before yesterday, he left like four in the morning, and we haven't heard or seen from him since. So he like, word? I said, yeah. When the last time you heard from Dylan? Never word. We all tired of his ass. See this? <laughs> His team ain't strong, and yo, you wanted me and you, give him the window or stairway. God ain't gonna save this punk today. I lost here. You here? 
It's a relief. I'm like, Dylon is here? Who? What? As a band, we're fed up with Dylon. Yeah! And he done burned a couple of bridges. He doesn't behave well. He's a grown man, he make his own choices. Yeah! He know what he's doing. Dylon! Yo! Come on! You can't stay here. I can't stay here? According to who mm -hmm. Okay. Dylon, Dylon, the time has come for us to say goodbye. You out of here, baby. So I need you to be out within the next 30 minutes. The next 30 minutes? That's what you say? I got the notice from Puff to leave. I don't know how to feel about it. I can't stay on the premises, so I gotta leave um, in half an hour. Man, I can't believe he's really serious about this. Yo. What's up? How you doing? So I guess we we be seeing each other for a while, huh? We can see you, dog. If we step up and say we don't want to go, that's, if that's yeah, what you want to do. I'm saying you don't want to say it, dog. Given a chance, would I have done anything differently? No. You can't save nobody who don't want to be saved. Dollar didn't kill. So what can we do? You think it's funny to out of my house now? You think it's funny, right? Get your ass out of my house now. Please. You, get the out of my house now. Uh, get the out of my house now. It's about my house. I swear to God, get out of my house. Come on, let's get the move. Let's go. Let's go. Get. Don't even take your We just keep in your It's over. I'm cold. It's a memory. rebelled and my motivation had gone down. I learned a lot. I learned a whole lot. And I needed to go through this. The band, the D-A-B-A-N-D, I'm always riding for y'all no matter what the situation is gonna be. I'm my family, Chris Picker and I'm. It hit us hard, but the pain will go away. He bought it on himself. That's just how I look at it. Like the man that got him out of jail, like he was about to go to jail. Somebody keep giving you chance after chance after chance and you just keep putting your foot up their ass. Like, eventually, they're gonna have to take your foot out their ass, and that's what he did. And the life goes on. We ain't gonna let this break us up, though, man. Nothing can break us up, Chopper. We're the fan. There we go, baby. Come on, let's go. Ready for action, nip it in the bud, we never relax in the outcast, it's everlasting. We have a meeting with Phil Robinson. He's the manager, he's supposed to be the one that's making everything happen. Phil is at his end, Diddy, I know he's at his end. They just fed up, they like, look, y'all gotta get your stuff together. The real key to this whole is can y'all stay together? We went from like being hot, doing shows everybody wanted to do, but right now there's no real offers. Like the offer is now on like $4,000. Everybody knows that there's a TV show that's going on, but the TV show is gonna be over when y'all need to have a real record. You chose me as your manager because of the relationships that I have with Puff, and I know this guy more than anybody. I spent more time with him than anybody, and you get into the point where he, he about to start not giving a That's not where we want to be. He, everybody can think that they can do whatever they want to do. At the end of the day, he can walk away from this shit. He's going to take a loss, but the group is going to take a bigger loss. You have got to get this thing by the balls and get it real. Like, you all got goals, and you're in a position to reach them right now. Only you could throw it away. I hope with Dylon going now that the rest of the band realizes that just as dreams come true, they can be taken away from you. In Dylon's case, he took the dream away from himself. The band is in jeopardy of taking their dreams away from themselves. I knew it was gonna be like.
like, last day at Puff House, it hit me like, damn, Puff House is, is cool, but he'll be, he'll be watching over us. We always up here, we always in New York. I just wanted to go home, man. We get us a free time, we come back fresh. I'm so happy right now. I get to stay home for like a week, see my family. That's the, the worst thing for me. I want to see my kids more. Being in a band is hard. So if you don't think you have what it takes to be in a band, don't sign up to be in a band. We're going to meet with Puff before we all go home. Take you from the east side to the country. Show a lot your careers. You know, I want to know what we're going to do. How y'all going to be able to be responsible adults and if y'all want to do this or not. So I'm really here to listen to y'all. The question that, that Diddy wants to know the answer to is, how do we plan to stay together as a group? How do we plan to make it work? It's, it's up like to us and uh, to take the initiative to show him how passionate we are. We feel like we got what it takes. It's time yeah. to stop playing. We got our mind free. Our mind stay straight. Be ready to do it. It ain't no more games. You ain't even got to talk to us no more. We as a band, we gonna handle this and have take the ball in our court. We got like um, a little game plan that um, we set together and talked about. Um, we just some things that we can come up with. Like you said, just have a plan. Not just say you gonna do it, but have something down. Go to the studio when, when possible every day because it is a job and it's what we're here for to make music. Um, and that means everybody come together and go, not just two people. Work together as a team, make sure everybody's up, make sure we on time for any interviews, anything, that, any event that we have to go to. Start calling up radio stations, you know, calling up the different DJs, keep the relationships going, check in on them, you know, every day if possible. All that stuff. We had lost focus because if you look back on it earlier, we was all hungry, we was willing to do anything for it. And we kind of got like, you know what I'm saying, on the, on, on, on the big headed side. And I think we just lost focus. We need to be hungry and we need to be responsible for each other as well as an individual. It's a blessing to be here. We tired of saying it, but it's time to show it. That's how I feel. That's it. So, you know, to me, it sound good. Hopefully it'll be this way, you know, six months from now and be this way years from now. Understand it's, it's on y'all, but now, as you said, it's about the action. So I'm gonna be looking at y'all for the action. I'm tired. We all tired. I'm not feeling this whole Park Avenue. Shit. I want to go back to the hood. I just need to go home and get focused. And once I get focused and I come back, everything is all right. I'm the first one to leave. I'm gonna holler at y'all boys though. Young city is, is has just left the building. I just need to go home and take me a break, man. I think I need to just get away from it for a while. Just want to go into my family right now and just chill. To be honest, Dylan wasn't the only problem in the group. The group has. Overall, giving, giving me a lot of problems. What? I don't know what I'm gonna do with these cats. The decision will be made. They all supposed to be back here. Five o'clock. They were supposed to be here for me and with Puff. So you know he about to have be ballistic and have it. What was he wanting to do with them today? Like that was the whole thing. Like he was gonna have like the. the no, like, look, this is the role that we doing, and they don't even want to show up for the information. I and I was like, we already done had that we tired of your bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all did wrong. I'm sorry, Puff. Y'all messing up. I'm sorry, Puff. Y'all don't love it. I'm sorry, Puff. We'll be right, Puff. We'll do this. We'll change. <laughs> what I look like? I'm having a <laughs> meeting, and I ain't got no band members. So, uh, we just putting together our plan right now on how we're going to get them here. And then once we get them here, we're going to really let them know. This is a job. They don't show up for work. Right. They're not getting a paycheck. We already know that Sarah is going to be here. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to get some definitive answers on this. Chopper told me yesterday that he was in Baltimore and was just taking a train here today. And now, all of a sudden, he's in New Orleans. Babs just sent a two-way to hire him talking about she had the Target in New Jersey and they don't have no band albums. Anyway, let's get to what we gotta do. 
can you handle uh, Chopper? Like, figure out, is he really in New Orleans? Is he really getting on the plane? Like, what the f is going on? You think you can handle Knucklehead? He listens to you the most. Freddy, Fred. I talk to him. We have to get a number on him. He don't have no type of communication. This is a job. If they don't want the job, then let us know. Calling me with this dumb f about records not being in the record store, and they don't even know how to be a band. All right, Bab says she's on her way. We got a situation here. Puff is going to go ballistics, man. You know, everybody don't get back here and do what they're supposed to do. He got chopping on me. Give us a call in the yeah. office right away. We need to speak with you. All right. Yo, Freddie P. This is Hiram, man. What, what's, what's going on? You supposed to be here? They said they had a meeting for you with Puff. So when you plan on getting back here? Friday. Friday morning? I don't know. Friday morning be kind of late. Uh, Fred, didn't you say that you was going to be back today at 7 o'clock? No, I didn't. I told him I was going to be back on Friday. See, that's what I be saying about niggas just telling you anything, like, and then, nah, dog. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Can you come back tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I can't come back tomorrow. You can't? You said you can't come back tomorrow? Uh, Why? Same me, dog. I'm tired of this shit, dog. I'm like, I'm still dealing with these niggas, sir. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, this yeah. ain't gonna work out. And, I, and I'm missing out. I'm, I'm missing out time with my son. They getting more serious now. Like, if Puff wanna, I, I don't know, man. Like, with that band, they with the man. Tell him to cut me, dog. Yeah, I'm about Yo, we can't stay alive forever. Yeah. So, we can hit the fan and we might as well die together. More dramatic one. If you want to be in this business, as long as I have anything to do with it, you're going to have to respect it. You're going to have to respect it, and especially respect what Bad Boy has built over the years. We're going to set this thing right. You shiny, dog. You look a real fly, girl. We're back in New York, and we're checking into this high-class hotel. I wish we could move back into the house. Wow. Where's everybody else at? Fred and you. I know, man. Let's jack up. I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen, man. Like, what's he going to talk about? Oh, I know we're going to catch hell when we see Diddy again. For everybody missing that meeting, he's going to be pissed. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what he's gonna say. What if he say this? I quit with the bag. What if he says that? I'm tired of being scared. No, every time it seems like it's always I'm something bad. Scared. I'm scared of it. Oh, but I'm fine. Nervous. Feels sick. What do y'all say, Stokey? Whatever happens, happens. That. <laughs> Oh, man, this is not a good look, bro. Where are we going to pray that? What are we going to say? I don't know what's going to go down, man. You ready, Sogi? Mm -hmm. right, you ready, B? You ready, B? You ready, B? You ready, B? You ready? You ready? Be the only one that was going to go. Uh oh, no. No, ladies and gentlemen. Brace yourselves. We got more 
asses to kick out. <laughs> it's going to be an ending that you can't even imagine. When I decided to do this, at first I was like, um, the whole concept of a reality TV show and everything is a little bit hokey for me, you know what I'm saying? Then when I thought about the concept, I was like, there's nothing realer than all the emotions and all the things that, that people encounter, people go through when they're truly chasing a dream. And y'all been a part of history, and y'all been a part of history on what not to do. I think that overall, the band has set a bad example, man. For all the young kids that look at hip hop and think that this is what it's about. No matter how many times I've tried to give y'all chances, tried to deal with it, it's either you got it or you don't. It's either you want it or you don't. It's been two years for y'all to take advantage of this opportunity. The opportunity wasn't taken advantage of. Let me start with um, Chopper. I feel you have an incredible talent, and I know you're young. You get a certain pass because you're young. But it's like, I think that you was too young for the position that you was placed in. You wanted the dream, but mentally, mentally, you don't even realize the opportunity that you have. This level of life, it ain't for no, it ain't for no children. You've been playing like this is a game. And my words to you, it's not a game. Sarah, um, as a person overall, like I like you, I feel like you, you give great balance to the group. As an entertainer, as a performer, when you have an opportunity, you have to go harder to work within the situation you're in. If you want to be a solo artist and you're getting your own publicist and you're doing your own thing, but y'all haven't made it successful as a group, you gotta you gotta walk before you run. Babs, you are, you have been a total disappointment to me, to the New York Brooklyn hustle of it all. You've been a co-conspirator and all of this, shit, but at the same time, you were smart enough to not jump off the cliff with everybody else. But you ran up to the cliff with him, Ness. From the get-go, there, there has been like a label as far as like you being my favorite or whatever the case is. And I mean, it, at least I want to say your ass was smart enough not to do nothing to mess that up. But at the end of the day, it's not about y'all individually. It's about the band. So now is when life begins. Because now, now the cameras ain't going to be on y'all no more. This is the last episode. This is the truth of the matter. The decision is that the band is dismantled. Somebody died on me. That's how I felt. I love the band. That's tatted on my arm, you did. Nigga, the band is tatted on me. We stood on that line. We battled. We walked for the cheesecake. We went through boot camp. Staying up, writing in the studio. We cried together, we laughed together, we fought together. All of that, and it's over. There is another announcement, though. I will start working on, with two of the members of the band on a probationary period. And the two people is the two people that caused the less stress, the less drama, and had the most focus of the dream, which is Ness and Babs. Hip Hop's new Bonnie and Clyde. I ain't got nothing else to say. Everybody kept thinking that we was playing. Now that they see that it's for real, like, y'all gotta get out there and kill these When Puff tells us that he's gonna work with me and that's as the new hip-hop Bonnie and Clyde, it's like, the emotions is weird, because I can, I'm, I, right now, I can't even be happy about it. You know, I could appreciate it, but I'm not happy because 
it's like the, it's no more the band. Like this is definitely like the life ride. Get on that and then come put on them back and trying to put on them constructions again. This is where you got to get out in the field and hustle. This is where you got to really like establish yourself as hip hop artist right now because we don't have the cameras around no more. I'm proud of Baz and Nesta. Yo, don't give up though. I'm not giving, I'm not giving up on um, rap I'm just happy, man, you know? It was my immaturity, man. I, even I feel sad and, you know, ain't gonna get to nothing by being sad and bad. Uh, move the on, you know what I'm saying? Move the on. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move on. Talk to me right quick. Come on, say this for me. I'm just happy Fred didn't come. Oh, he I was passed out. Yeah. I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? We hear me? We made our mistakes. It's a different world now. He told me that the band is through. He wants to work with Ness and Baz. I could have really wild out, but to me, it was just like... I was going to the next level. That's what it felt like to me. Like, this part of my life was through, but I was just beginning a new part of my life. Once upon a time, there were six people who had a dream to become hip hop's next superstars. Out of tens of thousands, we chose these six people. Sarah Stokes, the diva. She's beautiful, she's gorgeous, she could sing. She was always the positive one. Out of everybody in the band, she didn't let it break her. She's kind of a, a balance to being a mother and being a musician and an artist. Her heart is already always in the right place. I know I'll be Where best. I can't do it. I got that, that, that pimp too. It's like, yeah. what? What the f yeah. what you just yeah. said? Fred, he do his thing. He's the wild card. The Dirty South, he's fire. On stage, wilding, running in the crowd, going crazy. Much love to you, Fred. Thank you for helping me with all the songs. I hope that you you get anything that you wish. I took the cigarette and put it in my mouth. Hey, yo, this is smoking in my bedroom. Thank you. <laughs> Dylon, the rebel. Don't sleep on Dylon. Dylon is hot. Dylon accent. His whole style about itself, his whole little swagger, you dig? It's my dude, too. He spits fire. The system designed for black, you them for fair. Smile up in my face, but them don't really care. I'm trying to tell you bad for your own benefit. You know how the image get you started, we finished it. That's, you know, always sweating. <laughs> he be shocking me sometimes with the stuff that he be spitting. Yo, he's a beast. He's a monster. Ness, the sky's the limit for you too, man. You're gonna be doing your thing. Babs, girl, you gotta, you just straight gangster. This is definitely ghetto fabulous. She got the look, the image. I love you, child. Always flirting with me because she was. She still do got a crush on me. You can believe that. The player of the day is Babs Bunny, my future wife. Chopper, God, your butt is crazy. Chopper make everybody laugh. Young City, the F-150 driver, smoke gray tents. He's that boy. He's a star. He has talent. He's a hot rapper. You need to have your own sitcom, straight up. I should give my own show. You know what I mean? I would watch it. I'd tear it down. To the fans, I want to say, I just love y'all so much, man. I just, like, everybody that watched the show, we thank you for, you know, watching us fall, watching us rise, watching us perform, watching us grow up on TV right in front of your eyes. I just want to tell you, I love you, especially to the females out there. Don't let nobody hold you down. Don't let these dudes out here gas you up, and you could do whatever you want to do. Puff taught me that don't nobody owe you nothing. You got to work for everything. Nothing in this life is for free. I will never forget what you did for me as far as taking me out the hood and showing me a whole different world and letting me follow my dreams and basically just believing in me. For real, I just want to say thank you. Thanks. From the bottom of my heart, thanks for giving me an opportunity. Oh, Mr. Boss, man. Dog, I love you, man. 
Well, for Puff, I wouldn't be here. I could have been easily looked over. He made me who I am. I'll never forget that, though. Never. I said I wouldn't go cry. No, man. I'm tearing right now, man. Babs and Fred, died on Sarah and Chop. They always gonna be my family. Wherever I see them at, it's always gonna be love. And I'm always gonna have a back. I think that we all can learn from this situation. Everybody out there, your dreams can come true. And your dreams can also be lost if you don't appreciate what God has blessed us with. Crazy feeling right now, like we ain't banned them all.